תשמע הכבוד, עמוד נוח, עמוד חופשי. המשמר יעבור לדום. משמר דום. המשמר יחטיף את נשקו. תף, צ'ק. משמר הכבוד, תזמור את צה"ל, במקום רוב. שמאל, מין, שמאל. שמאל, מין, שמאל. שמאל, מין, שמאל. קדימה, צעד. שמאל, מין, שמאל. שמאל, מין, שמאל. שמאל, מין, שמאל. המשמר יישר שורותיו לימין, עם רווחים. לימין, שר! לחזית, שוף! המשמר יציג את נשקו. צג, צג! המשמר יעבור לנוח, מות נוח! גבירותיי ורבותיי, שלום וברוכים הבאים לטקס קבלת הפנים לנשיא ארצות הברית, מר ג'וזף אר ביידן ג'וניור. מטוסו של הנשיא נחת זה עתה, אבקשכם לשבת במקומותיכם ולכבות את מכשירי הטלפון. Ladies and gentlemen, שלום and welcome to the welcoming ceremony for the President of the United States, the Honorable Joseph R. Biden, Jr. The plane of the President has just landed. We will kindly ask you to take your seat and return and turn off your cellular devices. El Rachavat HaTekes, Nichnas, Yoshev Rosh HaKneset, Chavar HaKneset, Miki Levy. The Speaker of the Knesset, Mr. Mickey Levy. Shmar Yavor Ledom. Shmar Dom. Amishmar Yachtif et Nishko. Achtev. Check. Amishmar Yedagel et Nishko. Again, check. Amishmar yachtif et nishko. Achtef, check. Amishmar yachig et nishko. Achtef, check. משמר יעבור לנוח. מות נוח. אל רחבת הטקס נכנס ראש הממשלה החליפי מר נפתלי בנט. The alternate prime minister, Mr. נפתלי בנט. משמר יעבור לדום, משמר דום.
המשמר יעבור לנוח, מות נוח. משמר יעבור לדום, משמר דום, משמר יעבור לנוח, מות נוח משמר יעבור לדום, משמר דום, משמר יעבור לנוח, מות נוח אל רחבת הטקס נכנס ראש ממשלת ישראל מר יאיר לפיד, The Prime Minister of the State of Israel, Mr. יאיר לפיד. המשמר יעבור לדום, משמר דום. המשמר יחטיף את נשקו. החטף, צ'ק! המשמר ידגל את נשקו. דגל, צ'ק! המשמר יחטיף את נשקו. החטף, צ'ק! המשמר יציג את נשקו. יוצא, צ'ק! המשמר יעבור לנוח, מות נוח!
אל רחבת הטקס נכנס כבוד נשיא מדינת ישראל, מר יצחק הרצוג. The President of the State of Israel, Mr. Isaac Herzog. המשמר יעבור לדום, משמר דום, המשמר יחטיף את נשקו, יחטיף, שק! המשמר ידגל את נשקו, דגל, שק! המשמר יחטיף את נשקו, יחטיף, שק! המשמר יציג את נשקו, יציג, שק! המשמר יעבור לנוח, מות נוח. משמר יעבור לדום, משמר דום! המשמר יעבור לנוח, מות נוח! משמר יעבור לדום, משמר דום, משמר יעבור לנוח, מות נוח
משמר יעבור לדום, משמר דום. משמר יעבור לנוח, מות נוח. משמר יעבור לדום, משמר דום מר יעבור לנוח, מות נוח משמר יעבור לדום, משמר דום, משמר יעבור לנוח, מות נוח
Prime Minister Lapid, heard of this guy. מר יחטיף את נשקו. כותב, צ'ק! המשמר ידגל את נשקו. דגל, צ'ק!
משמר יחטיף את נשקו. חטף, שי! כבוד הנשיא, Welcome to Israel, משמר כבוד של חיילי צבא ההגנה לישראל, ערוך ונכון לזכירתך. אדוני, מיסטר פרזידנט. שמר יציג את נשקו, צא שק, שמר יעבור לנוח, מות נוח. דבר כבוד נשיא מדינת ישראל, מר יצחק הרצוג. The President of the State of Israel, Isaac Herzog, will deliver his welcoming remarks. Mr. President, welcome to Israel, our brother Joseph. ברוך הבא לישראל, אחינו יוסף. The people of Israel welcome you to the Holy Land with open arms and joyous hearts as Joseph, son of Jacob, who sought out his brothers. Here, Mr. President, you are truly amongst family. Like the biblical Joseph, you are both a visionary and a leader committed to advancing the United States of America, the Middle East, the world at large, and the State of Israel. This historic visit reflects the deep partnership our nations share, a partnership rooted in our shared commitment to democracy, justice and freedom, tolerance, security, and peace. The State of Israel, in which you have just arrived, is a successful, innovative nation which contributes to tikkun olam, healing the world through science and medicine, water and food technology, climate innovation, and so much more. Mr. President, you have been a true friend, Yedid Emet, and staunch supporter of Israel and the Jewish people, of our security and well-being your entire life. In this visit, you will discuss the security challenges emanating directly from Iran and its proxies, threatening Israel and its neighbors, and endangering our region. Your first trip here in 1973 was just a few weeks before a terrible war broke out. Today, winds of peace are blowing from North Africa according, ac across the Mediterranean to the Gulf. This trip, Mr. President, is your journey of peace from Israel to Saudi Arabia, from the Holy Land to the Hejaz. I hope and pray it will help advance a regional vision of prosperity, integration, peace and security for our entire region. So, dear friend, Baruch Abba, welcome to Israel and welcome home. דבר ראש ממשלת ישראל מר יאיר לפיד, 
the Prime Minister of Israel, Yair Lapid, will deliver his welcoming remarks. Mr. President, this is both a historic visit and a deeply personal one. It is historic because it expresses the unbreakable bond between our countries, our commitment to shared values, democracy, freedom, and the right of the Jewish people to a state of their own. And it is a very personal visit because your relationship with Israel has always been very personal. You once defined yourself as a Zionist. You said that you don't have to be a Jew in order to be a, a Zionist. And you were right. And in your case, a great Zionist and one of the best friends Israel has ever known. You have not been here for a few years, so in the next couple of days, you will see how Israel has grown and developed. You will see the strength and smartness of the Israeli army, the creativity of the startup nation, the diversity of the Israeli society. Israel is a country that brings together the past, the present, and the future. Just moments ago, your plane, Air Force One, flew over where King Saul searched for his father's donkeys, above King David's uh, rooftop, above the palm tree that Deborah, the prophet, sat under. You also flew over a world-leading high-tech industry over agriculture that is helping improve food security around the globe, above universities and research institutes where Israeli scientists, including Nobel Prize winners, are leading groundbreaking research. During your visit, we will discuss matters of national security. We will discuss building a new security and economy architecture with the nations of the Middle East, following the Abram Accords and the achievements of the Negev Summit. And we will discuss the need to renew a strong global coalition that will stop the Iranian nuclear program. There will be time for all of that. Right now, we are simply happy to see you, Mr. President. The simple, genuine joy brought by seeing a good friend once again. Mr. President, Baruch Abba, welcome to Israel. <laughs> גבירותיי ורבותיי, אני מתכבד להזמין את אורחנו המכובד, נשיא ארצות הברית, מר ג'וזף R. ביידן ג'וניור. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Joseph R. Biden Jr., the President of the United States of America. President Herzog, Mr. Prime Minister Lapid, it's an honor to once again stand with, uh, with friends and visit the independent Jewish State of Israel. President Nixon was the first American president to visit Israel in 1974. I was actually, my first visit was, as you mentioned, as a young United States senator from Delaware in 1973, just a few weeks before the Yom Kippur War. I had the privilege of spending time with Prime Minister Golda Meir. I'll never forget, I was sitting next to a gentleman on my right, one of our aides. His name was Rabin. I think, look back on it all now, and I realize that I had the great honor of living part of the great history of this country. And I did say, and I say again, you need not be a Jew to be a Zionist. The fact is that since then, I've known every single prime minister, and it's been an honor. Formed strong working relations with each of them. And now, this is my 10th visit. Every chance to return to this great country, where the ancient roots of the Jewish people date back to biblical times, is a blessing. Because the connection between the Israeli people and the American people is bone deep. It's bone deep. Generation after generation, that connection grows. We invest in each other. We dream together. We're part of what has always been 
the objective we both had. I've been part of that as a senator, as a vice president, and quite frankly, before that, having been raised by a righteous Christian. We had dinner at our table every night before he went back to work. And it was a place where we had conversation and, incidentally, ate. And I remember he taught us all about what happened in the Holocaust. Why weren't the tra tracks bombed? Why do we not? Why, why, why? And he imbued in us a sense of obligation <clears throat> that we all have. And now, as President, I'm proud to say that our relationship <clears throat> with the State of Israel is deeper and stronger, in my view, than it's ever been. And with this visit, we're strengthening our connections even further. We have reaffirmed the unshakable commitment of the United States to Israel's security, including partnering with Israel on the most cutting-edge defense systems in the world. From here, I'm going straight to a briefing on Israeli missiles and rocket defense capabilities, including the U.S. support for the Iron Dome and Israel's new laser-enabled system called the Iron Beam. We're going to deepen our connections in science and innovation and work to address global challenges through the new strategic high-level dialogue on technology. We'll continue to advance Israel's integration into the region, expand emerging forums and engagement like the new I2U2 summit, which will bring Israel, the United States, the UAE together, and India as well, to deepen our economic cooperation between the Middle East and the Indo-Pacific. Greater peace, greater stability, greater connection. It's critical. It's critical, if I might add, for all the people of the region, which is why we'll, be, we'll discuss my continued support, even though I know it's not in the near term, a two-state solution. That remains, in my view, the best way to ensure the future of equal measure of freedom, prosperity, and democracy for Israelis and Palestinians alike. We're going to celebrate the ending of people-to-people -people connection and the enduring connection that binds our nations together, commemorate the history that we must never allow to repeat itself. Later today, I will once more return to the hollow ground of Yad Vashem to honor six million Jewish lives were stolen in the genocide and continue, which we must do every, every day, continue to bear witness. To keep alive the truth and honor of the Holocaust, horror of the Holocaust, honor those we lost so that we never, ever, ever forget that lesson. You know, and to continue our shared, unending work to fight the poison of anti-Semitism wherever it rises its ugly head. Wherever we find it in the world, we make real on the promise of never again by taking it on. We have a full agenda over the next two days because the relationship between Israel and the United States covers every issue that matters to our mutual futures. We're united in our shared values and our shared vision I'm looking forward to our time together over the next few days. May Israel and the United States continue to grow and prosper together for the benefit of the entire world. And I mean that, for the benefit of the entire world. Thank you, and God bless you all. Shmar yavor le dom, mishmar dom. Shmar yavor le noach, mot noach. Nesi medina. ראש הממשלה ונשיא ארצות הברית הצטרפו עתה לבימת המוזמנים לצילום קבוצתי חגיגי. The President of the State of Israel, the Prime Minister and the President of the United States will now join the Honorable Guest for a celebratory photo.
משמר יעבור לדום, משמר דום, משמר יחטיף את נשקו, טף, טף. המשמר יהיה דגל את נשקו. דגל, צ'ק! המשמר יחטיף את נשקו. החטף הברית ג'וזף אר ביידן ג'וניור. קהל מתבקש להישאר במקומו עד לצאת פמליית נשיא ארצות הברית. This concludes the welcoming ceremony for the president of the United States, the Honorable Joseph R. Biden Jr. We kindly ask you to remain in your places until the entrance of the uh, president of the United States leaves. המשמר יעבור לדום, משמר דום, המשמר יחטיף את נשקו, חטף, שק המשמר, רק המשמר, ימינה, נה 
המשמר במקום דרור.
How are you? GPO. Hi, how are you? You're your official GPO, yeah. Official GPO, but he's the official GPO, so you get one. No, no. You get one. Oh, that's odd. No, no, we two. No, you get one.